Hey Kadesha, my name is Erin. I'm with Duck Digital Marketing and you had spoken with my partner and husband Rob on Facebook. So as promised, I'm shooting you this short video just to give you a few tips on how to help grow your business online. And I will keep this short, but if by the end of the video you can tell that that is certainly something that we specialize in and that's something you're interested in doing for your business, please reach out to us and we can chat. And if not, no worries. I hope you're able to take these tips I'll give you and put them into action. The only thing I do ask if you don't mind would just be to give me some feedback on this video and let me know if it was helpful. But the three things we'll be going over will be content, citations, and backlinks. So first up is content, and that would be anything you can see on your site here. It does include the words, but also the pictures and what the pictures are saved as. And Google wants to see 1500 words on the homepage of a website. But within those 1500 words, that gives you the opportunity to be able to integrate in keywords that people are searching when they're looking for a cleaning service. So your website looks great. Um, I love the colors that you use. The layout of everything is super nice. It's very user friendly. So awesome job there. My only suggestion for your site would just be definitely to get some more content added onto your homepage. We want to appease Google by having those 1500 words so they will rank the site, but at the same time, those keywords are also a huge component and that's gonna help out a lot in getting you ranked. So next up is citations, and I just did a quick search. This is typically the first thing you'll see. This is called the map pack, and citations have a lot to do with that. So a citation is basically your business name, address, and phone number listed in various directories throughout the web. And when I say directory, I mean things like Facebook, LinkedIn, Yelp, Yellow Pages, really anywhere else that will allow a business to enter those details. So you would want to check out where your competition is listed, and you want to grab those listings for your business but then you want to double, triple, quadruple where you're found. So for instance, if your top competitor has 10 directory listings, you wanna grab those 10, and then you want to add another 20, 30, 40. That's gonna have you completely dominating them in that space, but it does also help you to rank high on the maps here as well. So moving along to the next thing, which is backlinks. And backlinks have a lot to do with this section. This is called the organic section. And the way backlinks work is there is a website out there that has a link to your site. And it's pushing power to your site, but it's also potentially driving traffic to it. But not all backlinks are created equal. So let's say that you did some cleaning for someone who owns an ice cream shop. And they've decided they're going to take a link from their site and push one back to yours but their link is going to be all about ice cream. So it's not gonna be very helpful. You would wanna get links from other cleaning service companies that send something back to your site and that will signal to Google that that is the industry that you're in. And because of that, it's gonna be a lot more powerful but also more unique as well. And this is one of the tools that I use just so I can give you a visual representation. So it's not showing much for your site right now um, other than you're being found for one keyword. And now here's one of the top competitors. So they have 4.13 thousand referring domains, giving them a little over 75,000 backlinks, getting them found for 153,000 keywords. And that all is driving about 237,000 people to their site per month. Now this is a much bigger company that has locations, I'm sure all over the United States, um, but they are really still the first one ranked on Google underneath Yelp and directories and things like that. So it's still someone you would want to beat out. Um, but let's take a look at their keywords and we'll try to get some ideas here. And we're looking for buyer intent keywords. So that's anything that someone would think to actually type into the search bar when they're looking for a cleaning service. So let me see here. So here's a good one, made service near me. So this is great because it's listing the service or the industry and that near me is going to automatically revert to wherever the person searching is located. So that would be a good thing to use. Let's see what else they have here. So we also want to make sure that if you're a smaller operation with just one location, you want to make sure that you're targeting your service area. So that could be multiple different cities. You may just want to um, target the largest city near you, um, but you want to certainly get in front of people and keywords is the best way to do that because it is targeting um, 
a certain service and then a certain place. So they have so many keywords that I do not want to bore you and have us go through all of these. Um, but like a good one would be if this just had, they're obviously ranking for their business name. That's not surprising. But if they just had like made service Dallas, that would be a great one as well because it's listing that service or industry and then it's listing a specific location. Um, so again, I'm not going to bore you with all of these, but I do hope that that at least helps. And truly, in order to beat out your competition, you just want to make sure that you're being found in a lot of the same places they are. Um, but then, as we spoke about earlier as well, always adding on to that too. That way you're far surpassing your competitors because that is the kind of thing that gets you on that first page of Google. But that is all that I have for you today. I do hope that this video was helpful. And if you'd like more information about Dup Digital Marketing and how we can help grow your business via your online presence, please contact us. We would love to talk to you. But thanks again for your time and you have a fantastic weekend.